Hi everyone, I'm Mike Corey. Welcome to another episode of On and Off the Mic. In this show, I caught up with my good friend and ESPN college football broadcast partner, Rini Ingolia, as I was down in his hometown of Orlando, Florida. Rini is also an Orlando City police officer. That's actually his full-time job, and we had a chance to catch up over coffee, which we both love and always like to get together, as he was on call on a Friday night. Do you guys go? Have you gone over with the girls at all to the... We have not in a while. I usually yeah. they, they like to go to Universal now. When they get bigger, yeah, know, Universal's a little more for teenagers. Is that Disney Springs? Like yeah, we've been there before. So what's going on with that now? Like, is it any better than? Yeah, it, like, it's better. Is, I mean, okay. there's no rides there, but it's just no. shops and restaurants and stuff like that. Movie theater. Okay. Okay. My daughter went there for her 16th birthday. But it's not like City Walk in Orlando, right? I mean, it is. No, Universal. it is. It's very similar to City Walk. Oh, they do have a bunch of places to go hang yeah. out? Restaurants and bars? Okay. Restaurants and bars, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. It's very similar. That's, yeah, just like it. That's good. So now, like, you're on call here this, this like, yeah, so until unit, what time? Our unit, uh, there's six of us, and one of us has to be on call every week. So right. we work, th- when you're on call, you work 3 to 11. Okay. And then we take any calls late night or overnight. And okay. so we're the robbery unit. So any armed robberies, uh, any commercial robberies, and 7 Eleven gets robbed, we'll yeah. respond to that. So we t- obviously we take turns. I, however, have on call three of the next five weeks because I traded, a bunch of us traded for vacations. Well, how many days? Like, yeah. So seven, it goes seven days. It goes, oh, it goes Monday okay, to Monday. Okay. Um, but so on the next five weeks, three of those weeks, I'll be on call oh, um, just because my vacation, my European vacation this way, I'm yeah. totally free from on call for like a, two months. And so. man, it's got to be like, so it's Friday night right now. So it's, it's going to probably get bad. Like, right? Yeah. Well, normally what happens when you get called out, oh, there you go. There goes my phone when that's yeah. not a call. Okay. Normally when you get called out, like I get home at 11. So I usually fall asleep about midnight yeah. and usually 2 a.m. is when your phone rings and you're back out, you're back out for a robbery usually that's how it works so it's the, the whole time like like right now you have to be out and about but then you're still on call when you go yeah home. so when you go home your phone needs to be on if anything happens they call that's you crazy. yeah every single detective unit okay in the city has someone on call right so if there's right. uh you know if there's a sex crime like a rape or something one yeah. of those units will get and what happens out. if it's like a really bad night and they need more people and you're not on call you can just well, call we, people we'll call someone night? in yeah, yeah we'll, okay. we'll call someone in yeah it's happened that's happened before where you're, you're dealing with something really complex yeah. and something else happens where you just can't leave and then we'll call in another detective man it's like i love it down here like you know but i, mean, I remember you told me a long time ago it's like hey I get it. It's Orlando, Disney, everything's great. Not really. It's just like any other major city, no, you know, like things there's, happen. Uh, like, there's crime like anywhere yeah. else, but, you know, we just try to do our best. Um, but it's Florida, so you get a ton of visitors here, a ton of tourists, you know, so. And uh, the weather's good. So. Can't, Can't wait complain to about that. Your, uh, How's the weather in uh, Philly area? Yeah, it was. Oh, no, no, it was nice this week. It was, was like, it? It was like 78. Yeah, we got up to 80, I think. Like, it was pretty good. It's starting to get better. We didn't have a bad winter. Like, this yeah. was not a bad winter. Like, last year, I felt horrible because, like, every time I went away, it snowed. Yeah. And my wife's, like, <laughs> it's, like, you know, caught in a snowstorm. I'm like, man, this sucks. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm leaving Thursday, and it's, like, obviously, a storm's coming in. We had, like, maybe two this entire year. Yeah. Like, if that. It wasn't even that bad. It's good. And I wasn't gone. So, I was, like, okay, we'll take that. So, um, but, yeah, I can't wait to check out your new uh, house, man, with the... Uh, yeah, hopefully next time you come down, I'll be in it. Yeah. So hopefully we'll do. Uh, someone asked me the other day if we're going to get some UCF games. I'm like, oh, we'll see. Yeah. I, mean, I know. Do you have we'll a pool see. in this new house? I do. Got a pool. Is it like covered again, or is it still? Is it just outside? Yeah, no, it's just like a new screen. Yeah, That's just awesome. like my other one. This one pool's pretty brand new. I was, yeah. I didn't really care about the pool, but uh, my yeah. kids and the wife wanted one, so yeah. we got we got one. So uh, how's the dogs doing? Gonna inherit another dog too because really? when my mother-in-law oh, yeah. gets an apartment, she's got a, a golden doodle. Oh so there will be my five brother, dogs on the property. My brother and sister-in-law have that. It doesn't shed. No, it's a great dog. Yeah. This dog's very athletic. Active though. Jumps yeah, over they fences. Jump all I know, oh, right? They, they, Luckily, we have six-foot fences, so I don't think he'll be jumping over. <laughs> they're all over you. Yeah, they do. They they're very active. And my dog, my big dog Reagan, the Bouvier, I put him on yep. a diet. 
So he's lost. He was getting heavy. What was he, like 90 pounds? No, he was like about 120. <laughs> oh, was he really? Yeah, so now he's probably down about 105. He jumped all over me when I came he's in. He's about 105 now, so <laughs> he's, uh, he's a little more friskier. So all the dogs got their hair cut. So how about <laughs> so- yeah. Sonic, uh, my one little white dog, Yeah. he uh, bit the pool guy last week. No way. Yeah, because my daughter was home sick, so he rang the doorbell, and she didn't answer the door. Well, the Sonic back, the hedgehog. The back door to the pool was open, so he came in. And was by the pool motor, and he. We have a dog door, so he, the dog can go out there, and he went flying out there. But I mean, he was just protecting the house. I so mean, he went he, over there and bit the guy. Yeah, I bit the dog in the leg, and the guy ran out. And then the pool company called, and they were like, oh my God. they were like, does your dog have his shots? I said, yeah, he's got all the shots. Did, and you, I, did you have to pay something? Or? No, I mean he's on my property. <laughs> yeah, but he's supposed to be. Yeah, but I mean you got to make sure the dogs aren't out there. And he knows I have dogs. That's awesome. So yeah, Sonic. He was only a twenty-pound dog. It wasn't yeah. like it was a pit bull I or something. You, I got you. Um, but I guess he, you know, he. he that's that's he got one him thing good. I don't, you know what I mean? Like I have the two cats. It's like the dog. Like, I, you can't assume people are okay with it. You know, like if somebody comes over, they're just like. Oh yeah, you like dogs? Like I knew you had no, four yeah, dogs, yeah, but yeah. if you don't know, and they're like jumping all over you, yeah, like, oh, yeah. you're cool with the dogs, right? You're like, no, yeah. actually, I don't really. Yeah, you don't yeah. know. You gotta like, make sure they're wild. No, like, you have to make sure. Cause... Like our cats, like one of them runs and hides whenever somebody comes to the door. The other one, he just yeah. stares at you, like, who are you? And if you, you know, you want to pet him or do, he's like, oh, good, another person so really, gives me attention. The dogs are gonna benefit <laughs> from this new move because it's four and a half acres. So yeah, you can get them out there, they'll running be out around. there running around playing. They're gonna, they're gonna go nuts. They're not gonna know what to do. And yeah. Yeah, we're gonna that. get some goats, make it a little uh, a little farm, the Angolia farm. That's so great. It'll be fun. We're looking forward to it. It's my few, last house, so. What do you think so? Yeah, it's my fourth, and I think it's my last. My wife said it's our the house will grow old, and okay. So. Well, you never know, right? How no, many you don't. You, say something you don't. And something yeah. else happens, you know. You don't. I know. I don't even try to do that anymore. Oh yeah, we'll be no. here. No, we'll you do don't this. know. We'll you do don't that. know what. You have no idea. You don't know what. Uh, you don't. You don't know what life is going to bring you. You beat me on the miles that you said. Cause you had, how many miles did you have built up on Delta? So I had 258,000 miles built up that I had to use right. for um, flights. So I actually used a bunch of them for the Europe trip, um, I had, which is I, pretty good with Delta because their their miles never expire. So they always stay on there. That's good. As long as I travel within like a certain And actually, I used some too because I flew up. I went, uh, I went to... Uh, the Cubs Braves game oh. opening day, oh, which was cool. pretty cool. Have you ever been in that stadium? Yeah, yeah, I was up well, there. Well, remember, no, it's the stadium we when we did the high school game for ESPN. We stopped at eight there. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, at the Braves complex. Yes, yeah, yeah. it was awesome. I, I so watched we, the Super Bowl from there. Yeah, actually. so we went up there. Um, a bunch of us. Uh, one of my buddies is a big Cubs fan. He was oh, retiring, cool. so about fifteen of us went up oh, there for awesome. the day. That's fun up there. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, nice. because I went to Atlanta for the Super Bowl, I didn't have tickets, so I was just yeah. like, "We're gonna go watch the game somewhere." But it was so ridiculously Downtown, packed. Yeah, yeah you nice. can do it's it. Like 30 so minutes I away. did. I yeah. went up to Atlanta to the ballpark, and they have like you know, it's they're all starting to do that now, which is great. Like Philadelphia has that. It's like Xfinity Live, and it's like all these bars and restaurants. Yeah. Like you have to do that. I think the Patriots really the yeah, first Patriots ones to do it with Patriot too. Place yeah. with all the bars. They and had stuff. that too. Yeah, and that's the thing. Everybody like gives me such a hard time, you know, the Pats, but it's like I used to go there when they stunk, okay? Like an old Foxborough Stadium, you know, with like the metal bleachers and stuff and like the cow pasture and it, it, there was nothing. Yeah. And they were terrible. And now, because they're awesome, it's like, listen, I've been going to these games since, I know. you know, with like Steve Grogan and Irving Fryer and John Hanna. <laughs> yep, good old days. Can you imagine Brady could play for like another four years, five years, whatever? Robert it's like, how about Gronk? He's done. I know, but what do you think about him retiring? Yeah, I mean, I guess. You see if he's so beat up. Yeah. He's only 29, though. Yeah, he so played, like, played hard, man. He played he hard. He did. He did. You know, though, like, with Brady, I know he's rich, so he has all the money to do this, but, like, I don't like to hear, like, oh, once you become 40, then you start getting hurt or whatever, you know, you, everything breaks down. It's like, well, no, not if you were no. running and taking care of your body the whole time. Like, think about it. Dude, he, he that's had, why he's in such good a shape. And plus, he's got, like, great oh, trainers and does it all. Doctor, but like, you still got to do it, though. People cook all the food for you. Yeah. And, but, like, yeah, you still got to do it. But that's it's so good. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, he's got a best. couple of years in him for sure, at least. Yeah. So where are your, uh, where are your daughters going to go play, uh, play soccer? Like... Colleges. What's the what's our so, list right now? UMass is recruiting Katie, my yeah, oldest one. Yeah. So she's excited about that. They can't talk to her officially until first day of ju- junior, junior year, which okay. is next, which will be Did next. They finally August. fix all these rules and stuff. Yeah. At the hiccups, sorry. 
My other one, Emily hasn't really thought about it, although she likes Florida State. She went to, went to a camp there, and she yeah. loves like the campus. Yeah. And then Katie has been to the Alabama camp. Okay. So she'll go back to Alabama again. That's one of the schools she's kind of targeting. Yeah, I remember you talking to me about like the scholarship stuff. That probably like what breaks some of it up sometimes. Like, they usually you, you for, like, for women's one. sports for soccer. They yeah. usually break it up. Okay. Um, and just that's a way they can give yeah, give more give out. More. Yeah. So well, that'll be fun. That's gonna be awesome. You'll so probably have I, to go from like you know a game to her game, to or, you know, doing a football to soccer. Yeah. Well, I definitely will because I'll be yeah. I'll be retired by then. Retired. It's awesome. Now, if she goes. The UMass, it's going to be hard to see games, um, but they have a spring season, so I'll catch as much as I can, you know? Yep. Join our friends from the Delaware Kids Fund and Harvey Hanna and Associates for the 10th Annual Delaware Kids Fund 5K in Newport, Delaware on Saturday, August 3rd. Join me and the rest of the crew as we help fight childhood hunger in Delaware for over 10 years now. For full info, visit dekidsfund.org. Thanks. Thanks. What do you got there? You feel Oscar 390. He's, What's check, 390? he's checking on a unit. It's, his name is three nine, Oscar 390. Oscar 390, Browning or Pete Harris. So okay. Those, What's your name? Os, I'm 914. Oscar means... Okay. What are you, 914? Oscar means off-duty. So these are oh, units that okay. are working details around the city. Okay. Um, so every four hours, you get the unit check. Oh, Headquarters okay. calls you to make sure you're okay. Right. And then if you... If you call out with something, like if I was to call out with like a suspicious person here, yeah, about every five minutes they would call to make sure I was okay. Oh wow! See, I'm nine fourteen. The nine hundred. What happens if you're tied up doing something and you don't hear the call and you can't get alert, back to them? They'll, they'll alert your radio. It'll start going like make making all these noises and lighting up. Really? And then someone will end up calling me on the cell phone. Okay. I got but yeah, you. That's you know, good. Orlando. That's good. All the nine hundred units are detectives. So you're what, 914? 914, yeah. 914. So the nine, teen, nine, the teens, uh, well, ten, not, 910 through 19, 919 is the robbery unit. Are you Randy Buffalo 914? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Randy Buffalo. <laughs> People don't know about this story. I love it. We, we have to, like, I don't know. I, I, I have got, it on my phone. We'll have to have yeah, uh, play Jim, it. Play it. We'll have to have Jimmy do something with All it. All right. Yeah. No. He'll he'll do this. So right, let me so see. so on. this is what happens, folks. Like we'll give a we'll give the backstory. So you and I are doing uh, college football. UMass at, Buffalo. UMass what? at Buffalo. Yeah. yeah. That's this is the Thanksgiving Day game or the day after Thanksgiving. I guess Thanksgiving. It, it was day after. The day after, day after, it was after Thanksgiving. Yep. And uh, what year our, was that? Uh, this is probably like four years ago now. And our colleague at the time, uh, Dave O'Brien, does an awesome job. He's a Sox uh, play-by-play guy on TV. Um, he's doing a basketball game beforehand, and he sends it directly to us. Now, we, November, we can't hear it. November 28th, 2015. Yep. 2015. Now, we can't hear the toss on site because we, we just were told, you know, go, take it. Yeah. But then I go back home. To, to listen to the game, to watch the game back, see how we did, and, and I start the open, and this is this is what we hear. And it's evident that no one told Dan O'Brien what my name was. Right, so. right. For my partner, the Hall of Famer, Dick Vitale, I'm Dave O'Brien. Thanks so much for joining us. Right now we send it to Buffalo, New York, ESPNU College Football, Mike Corey and Randy Buffalo. <laughs> So we think he said. It's the final week of the regular season. Yeah. So we think he said Randy Buffalo. It's Randy. He said Randy Buffalo. It's not even close. So some people. And your name's Rini and Goldia. Yeah. So. <laughs> but but in his defense, I think it had something to do with you know, I don't know. Maybe he saw it because he knew we were right. at Buffalo. And if, but so I don't if know. people don't know, and you can speak to it's this, funny when you're a play-by-play guy. When you're kicking it to someone like like he did to us, or you're going to a sports center or something, you right. want to know the people's names. Yeah, exactly. So you have to ask, you know, through our uh, headsets ahead like, of time, ahead of time, who it is. And a lot of times there's confusion, yeah. and they're not sure the name. And I'm assuming they got your name, Mike Corey. It's a nice, easy name. And I'm assuming someone saw my name but didn't know how to pronounce it. And they said it to him fast, and he probably had to get off the uh, air. Yeah, and that's just yeah. what. Well, we're gonna have to ask him. Back. I have to give yeah. him a call and say, "Hey, do you even remember this?" Like, and, he probably yeah, he, he had no idea, probably. Um, but then one time, so Brian, my brother, who's my spotter, our spotter for, for college football, um, they wrote the card wrong uh, one time, sending that to us, and the guy goes, "Yeah, here's uh, Brian Corey and so and so or whatever." And I was like, "All right, Brian, you just been vaulted to right, the play-by-play play play play. position." <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Okay." So, 
Yeah, but no, it's like there's so many behind the scenes that people don't. So realize. many moving parts yeah. that people don't know what goes on. I have on. such a more of an appreciation when I watch a game. Well, people, if somebody I, messes something yeah. up, like, oh, I know what's going on there. Yeah. People ask me all yeah. the time, "Is there people talking in your ear?" I'm like, "Yeah." Yeah. And they're like, "How do you do it?" I said, "It's." It can be disconcerting at first. You get used to it, though. Hey, you know what it is, though. Like, like, and we're not acting like you know we require so much, but it is. It is difficult. Like, if you're in your car, you know, you have the the navigation. No, you're you're listening to songs, yeah. and you have the navigation on. That's a simple, easy example for people to understand. Yeah. What's the level that the navigation comes in over the music? Is it too soft? Yeah. Is it too loud? Can you on, hear yeah. it? Can you not hear it? That's what we Meanwhile, deal with. Meanwhile, you're watching something, yeah. trying to concentrate. And you're trying to drive. Yeah. Like, so that's what happens to us. Yeah. Like, if you don't hear it loud enough or it's being drowned out, like, that messes you up. So that's like a simple example well, that not, anybody can relate to. And not just driving. You're driving where you're specifically looking for something. Right. Like, you're, you don't know where to turn. Like, yeah. And your senses get all messed it's like up. Like the office. Turn right. Yeah, yeah, turn yeah. right. It's a lake there. It says turn right. <laughs> well, college football's right around the corner. 126 yeah. days. Yeah. Goes by fast, man. It actually opens up right here in Orlando. It's. Uh, what do they got? I think. That's the, correct uh, me if I'm wrong. I think it's. The thing. I think it's. Uh, it? Florida. I'm gonna get it wrong. Hold yeah, on. Let me look it up. Enough. I like how they do those good games now, you know, finally, you know, yeah. but there's still, you know, there's still the other ones, but because teams know, you know, like, I'm sure you'd rather play a really good team early like that when there's still a lot of question marks than like later in the season. Yeah, it is. It's Florida and Miami open the season. Yeah, that's a good game. That's cool. They moved it a week earlier, so they're all alone. So that game what day is, is that? on a Saturday, August 24th. That's how oh, early wow. the season okay. starts. Yeah, it's, in, it's, it's right here. August. It's yeah. right here in Orlando at Camping yeah. World Stadium. It was originally going to be August 31st, but there was a lot of other games going yeah. on, and they wanted that, you know, pretty much that week to themselves, and they're getting it. So that's going to be awesome. Well, and you know, it starts like for us at the end of July with a summer, oh, yeah. and then you got to start getting ready like middle of August. So forget it. Yeah. What do you got here? What's this? Nothing. News. Yeah. He drives you nuts to watch the news. We need football. I know. I don't put it on anymore because of our no, little daughter, so it's great. Yeah. Like, she's... I don't want her hearing that. What does uh, she watch? Um, Baby Shark. Oh, Baby Shark. You know Shark. Baby Shark. Well, I saw that one uh, That one batter. I forgot what team he played for. He wa That was his batting music. His walk-up music was Baby oh, Shark. Oh, was it really? Because his, little, oh, his daughter would listen, watches yeah. it all the time. Everybody watches Baby Shark. And um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That's a good one. Actually, dude, Classic. I like my that. kids watch that. I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's you learn a lot from Mickey well, Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but Baby Shark. I mean, all it takes, right? I know you're, you're speaking of the one that that killed it because they they had like two billion views. Yeah, but like any kid's song, right? Can't you just like I don't know if it catches fire, look what happens. Look at uh, right how popular Barney the Dinosaur was. Yeah, and you ride it for as long the, uh, as you have it, right? That's the other group there, the Wiggles, man. Oh, uh, the Wiggles, yeah. Because now in, in another year, that'll be gone, but then they just made billions of dollars. Ride it. You gotta ride it. Yep. She loves it. She's like in her little bouncy, and she'll be in the bouncy watching it. You know? How old is she? Uh, five months. Oh, well, yeah. She's going to be six months pretty soon. Give her about another three, four months, she'll be walking. Yeah. will be going crazy, I know, I know. chasing her everywhere. I know. Chasing her everywhere. She's going to be pretty wild, I think. I feel like she's going to be all over the place. Maybe when Uncle Brian comes over, she'll <laughs> pop him right in the nose. Yes, yes. Check it in. It's a call. They're just saying uh, okay. someone called in an open door of a business. So go check it out. You got to listen. To Here's the other thing. Talking about yeah. like knowing what's going on and stuff. Like yeah. to the normal person, when this radio goes off, it's like it's like Greek. They don't understand it. Right. I've been. I've been here 19 years, so you just you can you can do four things at once, but you always it's called having a radio ear. You always you always hear it. hear what's going on, and when you're a patrol officer, you really have a radio ear. I mean, you really are in tune with it. Yeah. You lose it a little bit as a detective, but um, yeah, I remember yeah. when I was a rookie cop. I mean, that was like a big thing. They used to test you on the uh, the codes. On the codes, yeah. Um, and you used to get all nervous, and but. It's just funny now. Everything. It's like. It's cool. It's like anything else, you know. What yeah. uh? What car are you in right now? 
Did they change up your car at all? Or are you always in the same? Like, that's a Camry? Yeah, so no, I just got a brand new 2018 Toyota Camry. Undercover. So, yeah, it's undercover. But it's got lights in it. They, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't tell. They, uh, they constantly update our cars, and obviously I'm a senior person, so I got dibs on a new car. Yeah. So I took it. Rides nice. It's actually a hybrid. That's quiet. Cool. That's a really cool. Sneak up on people. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you get 44 miles to the gallon on that car. Really? Yeah, so it's a nice what, car. What, are you, what have you had? Like, what other cars you had? Did you have like a Fusion, right? Did you have I've a had Ford? a Ford Fusion. Yeah. I've had a Chevy Malibu. Yeah. Um, Chevy Malibu. Nobody, I've, no offense to that. Nobody's expected to be pulled yeah, over so by I've a, had Chevy a Chevy Malibu, Malibu right? I've had a Chevy Impala. So I had both yeah, that's, that was always the big one. Impala was a little bigger. Um, yeah. I actually had a Buick LeSabre once. Buick LeSabre. Um, I'm talking what was about the my main, cars. Yeah, what was the main car? Well, it was a Ford Crown Victoria. Crown Victoria, yeah. yeah. And they, uh, they're police, uh, limited police edition cars. Okay. And they stopped making them. But right. They were great. Those cars were like tanks. They were they were fast. It was a four-door Ford, obviously. Yeah. Had a big, strong engine in it. But a lot of what a lot of people don't know is those police limited cars had um, truck chassis in them, so they were very strong. Oh, wow, okay. You could go over curbs, and yeah, so that's yeah. my first five or six years on, it's all, right. you know, I drove those cars were like tanks, those cars were phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. I just don't think enough of the regular public bottom, you know, right. so they, they just well, you didn't, got they, away you from didn't want to, because yeah. it was a cop car. Like, yeah. you didn't feel like yeah. you wanted to be in that. Like. And any time I'd see it, i go, oh no, that's a cop, but it so wasn't. So now we're going, actually we're going yeah. back to, so then there was a, a lot, a big mixture of, of different types of cars that okay. we're agency were using, but we're going back. We're going to SUVs now. Really? We're going to be basically down the road. Every patrol officer will have a uh, Ford Explorer. You Just gives should, you more man. room you for should. your equipment. Yeah, you got your like laptop open and all lot that of, stuff. Yeah, because when you're a police yeah. officer, your car is your office. But does that thing? Can you like? I'm sure it's got pickup. Obviously, it's really good. But yeah, nothing goes go. faster than a sedan. Right. No, but I, I mean, those there's cars, no SUV that's all the way. Those cars go pretty good. So, and okay. here's, the, here's the reality, too. There's only there's only a handful of things you can really pursue someone for. I got gotcha. Because it's so dangerous to chase cars, so it has to be... Yeah, you really don't need to be going at no, high rates of speed. Maybe, you know, it has to be a violent felony crime, for in the most part, to chase someone. So. I got gotcha. you. So, but yeah, it's a good old stuff. I can't believe in 15 months I'm eligible to retire. That's unbelievable, so. man. That's unbelievable. They always said when I was a rookie, it goes, it goes fast, it goes fast. Now I could stay on longer if I want, but no, you know, with ESPN, SUVs, yeah, man. with ESPN, it's gonna be great. As long as they still want me, oh yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. They want you. Fire up the motorhome. Yeah, we got so, you know, take we, that to so you know we now. took the motorhome to uh, UCF. UCF. Remember, only one air conditioner was working. Oh yeah. So I finally brought it in to get it worked on, the and fixer. there was a short in one of the wires. Jeez. So they fixed it, and she said, "Not only that, but she goes, Your, my heater wasn't going to work either. Not that I would have used the heater." But yeah, what do you need that? It's fixed, ready That's to go. Great. That's great. So it's all good Yeah, do you need to even go. turn the heat on in well, a car here? No. You, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it gets cold in the winter. I mean, it yeah, does. forty-eight degrees. <laughs> the, that's cold here. The, uh, I know. the Toyota Camry, I got heated seats in that bad boy. What? So I put them on in the morning the and I toast up. I call that the hot ass. So. It gets that cold in the morning? I mean, I think I think this year, yeah. uh, you know, maybe a handful of times it got into like the high 30s. But it only stays there for okay. limited time in Orlando. You know okay. what I mean? But, yeah, cold for us in the winter. If it gets in the 40s, that's cold in the winter. Yeah. But, when you're used to it being average, you know, 85 all year, I know. 40's freaking cold. So. It is. Okay. Since I'm on call, yeah. um, my, I got up at 5.30, oh, and I helped uh, my wife walk the dogs, yep. and I went back to bed, woke up about 8.30, okay. had two cups of coffee, two yeah. dunks in the house, and yeah. then did a bunch of errands I had to run, uh, drove my daughter to school, and uh, did some other stuff, and then I went, ran five miles. Yeah, you said you got five yeah, miles. Yeah, I'm down that. 12 pounds, so I got to keep it up. But uh, so I then I came into work, um, grabbed some lunch, came into work about two, and then when I got to work, um, everyone's got Keurigs at work in the office. So I had another Dunkin'. But not only did I have the Dunkin', my boss has the Dunkin' Donuts sweet cream. Oh yeah. So I, I so I had a had a big oh. had a cup at work, and now I just had a cup with you. So. <laughs> Like you said, though, what it doesn't affect it? you. Like, what time is 8 it? 8.30. I may yeah, hit another, you, maybe one more before I go to bed. Some, well, the other night. It doesn't bother you. You can still funny, go to bed. It's funny. So the other night, my wife, it was 10.30. It was yeah. It was last Friday or Saturday night. I think it was Saturday night. It was 10.30. We had gone. That's what it was. My daughter turned 14. Yeah. So she wanted to have a beach party. 
Oh, wow. So we took like 20 kids to Cocoa Beach, and we all, my other older daughter can drive, I can, no, not my wife drove, I drove, we piled these kids in. So we had 20 kids, and me and my wife just kind of sat to the side, and the kids did, you know, they played games, and so it's all like 14 and 15 year olds. We were there from, we got there at 11, and we didn't get home till 7. So we were wow. beach day, but it was a nice day, and That's I'm not cool. not normally a beach person, but I mean, I lived yeah. 30 minutes from the beach, and it was, it was awesome. Yeah, we brought food, go. and kids had a good time. My, my wife and I took a nice, like, four-mile walk down the beach. So I get home that night, and I'm like, I want my coffee. So I'm drinking, and had a couple cups, so it was like 10, 30, 11, and my wife was up, and I had the dog on my lap. So okay. I said, honey, will you get me another cup of coffee? She's like, are you kidding me? It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I said... I could fall asleep while I'm drinking the coffee. It doesn't affect. I drink so much of it, it doesn't affect me anymore. To me, it's just it's a relaxing. It's social. Yeah. You know, I don't drink it for the what a, you know <laughs> buzz to get woken yeah. up. One of my buddies uh, had a story of uh, the late Harry Callis. You know, great yep. broadcaster for the Phils, and he was always smoking. You know, I mean, he he till the day he died. Yeah. And he goes, he said to him, he goes, you know, I'd smoke it in my sleep. If I could just get someone to flick the ash. <laughs> He's like, yep. I mean, that's the same thing. But that's, that's like, yeah. That's why that's I like doing you. Up. That's why I like doing UConn games because they have Dunkin' oh, Donuts they do, in, the, they uh, do. in the press box. They do. Somebody was asking me, or I did on an earlier show, about like what the best media food is at the at the games you've been to. Like, we've had some good ones. ones we've been to. Like, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. It's hard though, like you know, I don't always like to have a big meal before. Well, Sometimes I don't. I'm like always to afraid I'm going to spill on my. Spill something. Uh, so that's why when you do radio, pasta's not great. Right. Radio, you pick out because yeah. it doesn't matter if yeah, you spill. You're not on TV, so yeah. radio is always. If we do a bowl game on radio, we go nuts. Yeah. But we didn't do a bowl game. We didn't do. We no. didn't do a radio game this no, year. We First didn't. time. We didn't. We didn't. Um, I know years ago Michigan had an awesome spread. Oh, University of Michigan, of course, had an awesome it. spread. Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, like everybody should just get it catered and, and give them a yeah. Everyone's treat. a little it's not different. that hard to do. Yeah. It. But yeah, but I'm with you. I don't, I usually don't eat. I might have a snack, right. but if there's coffee, I'll love coffee. Yep. My big thing is, where is the restroom? to our booth because obviously you drink a lot of coffee getting up hey. there in age I'm going to the bathroom a lot yeah so. how about the only restroom we've ever had in the booth University of Illinois University of Illinois best I've never seen any other no I think any other box they did a have a bathroom uh, they did a the huge uh, redo there yeah um, uh, fa- a, big a, facelift and I think that what's now the broadcast booth I think used to be a 50 yard line suite sweet no wonder so there was a bathroom right yeah, in there yeah because and it was even the NFL awesome. booths don't even have yeah. a bathroom in there. yeah awesome. so a bath- Not that it's like- bathroom yeah. in the booth it was awesome yeah but most of them situate it where it's just right outside the door yeah so it's pretty oh, good what about at uh, Levi Stadium did we have it there no no, no that was outside it was right it was outside, it was outside. Yep. It's outside. Yeah, every, everyone else is pretty much outside. Some of the older stadiums, it's like yeah. down a hall, and you're sharing with people, and that can be a pain in the yeah, butt. Yeah, that's the thing when people say to me about like what's easier, you know, to do. It's like, well, obviously, basketball is easier than football. I mean, and there's it's all these so, factors. It's so like, quick. How high up are you? How many yeah. jerseys can you see? The numbers. What's the weather like? You know, the conditions. A lot of variables. I mean, there's so in many variables. Yeah. I know. Every stadium is all messed up, and it's like it's because of you know, and TV. If you ask them, like. How far their cables can go? What yeah. broadcast position? And where can I put the camera? Like, there's always a hundred million, like, a lot of, different a lot of moving parts going yeah. on. Yeah, basketball is like uh, your midcourt. It's climate controlled. Uh, it's over in two hours, and uh, there's five guys in each team. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's not. Yeah, yeah, double numbers. So this will be the you know this is coming up. It's the anniversary, right? 150th 150th year. 150th year of football. We're gonna have it's it. gonna be a big year. deal. Yeah, big yep. deal this year. I have a lot of fun. Yeah. I just right about now. Once May hits, yeah, I start getting excited for college football. May, June, because I know July, it's close. Yeah. The seminars July thirty first will be in Charlotte this year, and yep, you know, and then like I said, that Florida Miami game is the twenty fourth, and so that next week is pretty much the full week. So we should be doing a game in late August and yep. in rolling. So you got a lot of stuff going on here, though. So um, that's to say the least. Listen. <laughs> Blinders on, it's yeah. controlled chaos. Get it done. I'm used to it, so that's why in 15 months when I retire, it's going to be crazy because I'm going to be able to take a deep breath and just yeah. prep for a game and not worry about 
cases. You take know? the motor home, man. I yeah. want you taking that motor home everywhere I think we go. We'll take it. We're to a game. Your, oh, we're gonna get your picture on it this uh, this year. We'll get a picture on it. Big fat head. Yeah. And then put John Cena next to it. There you go. <laughs> I uh, like like three or four times this week. People stopped Did me and said, really? "You know," I said, "John Cena." Yeah, I was at the. Uh, Why don't you take advantage of that? I was at. Uh, I was getting my car. Uh, I get oil change in my car, so we have fleet services. They okay. do all the city stuff. Okay. And a couple of uh, garbage men pulled up with their truck, and uh, they were getting their wheel checked. And the guy staring at me. He goes, "You know who you look like?" I said, "John Cena." He goes, "That's it. That's it." <laughs> Yeah, I get it a lot. Listen, we gotta figure out how to get you guys. I together keep tweeting at him. I wanna, I wanna do a movie where I could be his brother. Yeah. Where would he be? Like, what's he doing? Oh, I'm sure he's probably working on a movie right now. That'd be great. So, yeah, someday you never you know. Do, you do. You look just like getting him. back in shape. So, well, actually, he'd be. He should be my brother because I'm older than him. Right. Not much. He's got more money than me, but yeah. I am for. I'll be 47 next month. I think he's like 40. It's I think. It's crazy. Look it up. Let's see. Yeah. Right. But I do. I mean, I'm not just saying it. I get it Yeah, everywhere. I was going to say. You did, well, you the haircut everywhere. Everywhere I go. Yeah. He is 41. 41. That's that's crazy. Oh, that's funny. His birthday was three days ago, April 23rd. So he just go. turned 41. Wow. And I'll be 47 next month. So Perfect. six years older than him. All right. So you head, it out. you heading back to the hotel? Yeah, head back and then uh, fly out tomorrow. What time's your flight? Oh, you, oh good. You don't one. have to get up yeah, super early. No, that's good. I know. I'm tired of it. You know, can't. You well, know. And funny thing is, although how crowded everyone complains when coming to the Orlando airport, Saturday afternoon you should be good. Yeah. Well, now with not TSA pre-check, it's really? not a busy season either. So yeah. if you travel, no, like, you you have to. All the guys, I when we went up to that baseball game, yeah. like I have pre-check. Yeah. And. Uh, some guys don't. I said, listen, if you if you fly, I don't care if you fly twice yeah, a year. Uh, so like, that's what I told them. They said, if you fly hundred bucks for five years, year. years or whatever. No, it's not even. It's eight. It's eighty five. Eighty five 80, 80, 80 bucks for like, five years. What you want to wait in line? I think it's, it's like not having it's easy. Mine will be getting renewed. Yeah, sun pass. Yeah, yeah we're gonna stop get and pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I agree. So, yeah. all right. I'm looking forward to it. It was great seeing you guys. Yeah, you too, man. All right. On and Off the Mic is brought to you by Dr. Michael Axe and the team at First State Orthopedics. Dr. Axe and his staff is an outstanding group that I've known for over 20 years. They have top docs that are nationally known, 21 specialized surgeons providing the best care for you and your family. Visit FirstStateOrtho.com. Thanks for listening to On and Off the Mic. I'm Mike Corey. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another episode. And you can follow my travels all year long on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Mike Corey Sports.